Kilimanjaro really is, you know, something you, you can't not um, be involved in Africa and not know about Kilimanjaro. I mean, it is the uh, thing. And I've had so many friends who wanted to do it. And, um, you know, it, it wasn't at the top of my bucket list, but because there's just some time right now where we could do it. And um, for me, it's just, um, it represents an overcoming um, a getting on top of things. It's a pushing through. And, um, and, and so that's what Kilimanjaro means to me. I, I have some of my best prayer times when I'm walking. Thrive, originally Organics for Orphans, what it is, came from Dale walking with God in the cool of the day. You know, God, God would just download ideas and, and we both had this incredible passion to make a difference in, in helping end poverty. And so I just see this as an accumulation of 15 years of us working together as a couple with our goal being, you know, I mean, we know that we'll never totally end poverty, but I like to believe that Thrive for Good is gonna make a dent in it. I think uh, it's an opportunity. I'm very happy to be part of this and uh, to be part of uh, the team because it is one way of creating awareness, especially in East and Central Africa and Africa in general, that this is the way to go. Uh, to me, I think it's uh, such a nice opportunity to work and to, to go across the borders. We are going to start slowly by slowly and we are um, trusting God that he will strengthen us and we'll be able to reach the peak. And like I know during this journey, we are going to share experiences and through this, it's also going to strengthen our mindset towards like reaching our goal because we've been having this goal of reaching a million people in 2025. And you see this journey will encourage us and it will show us that everything starts small and everything starts with a step and it, it reaches to its accomplishment. So many good things about this project, not only the cause of what Thrive's doing, the personal challenge, and then the challenge of actually making this documentary, but also just learning from everyone, everyone's personal stories and just growing together throughout this whole shit. I think it's gonna be amazing for that. My background is I've been doing film for about eight to 10 years now. I find it's usually stuff that I, like initially it's just, you can see an interesting picture and just get interested in the subject. And then you just learn so much more about it and you realize that it's so much more rich than just that. And I like telling those stories and figuring out interesting ways of making something that's really interesting to me, relatable to someone else that might not think that way initially. So, you know, we, we created the event that everybody could participate and everybody could be involved. And so, you know, we have an ability where, you know, we've got team captains that are starting to form. I actually recognize a few that are here, you know, and team captains uh, are getting others to be on their team. And the idea behind it virtually is that at the same time that Dale and Ambrose, Joyce and, you know, Nate are actually on the mountain climbing the route, you know, same time, those of us with teams and those of us participating, we can actually be involved as well virtually by climbing stairs, hiking, walking, running um, ourselves. So yeah, that's kind of the idea of virtually, um, you know, being part of it one way or another, you know, team captain, joining a team, financially supporting, um, you know, uh, a team and getting others to support you in your endeavor. Uh, for those of us that are here in Canada and elsewhere that are going to be joining virtually, um, get training this week because we've got a week to go. Uh, and for <laughs> those of you that are climbing on the mountain, uh, we just, uh, we will be with you in spirit and uh, we just uh, be hoping and praying and leaning into a safe trip for you guys. So, uh, and we're looking uh, forward to hearing the stories from uh, from both the virtual climbers and yeah. climbers on, on the mountain. So uh, super excited.